this video we're going to look into the second problem from the second chapter of 12th standard summer chief textbook accounts for non-profit organization so this problem goes as uh, it's to prepare a receipts and payments account of a coin with a cr cricket club for the year ending 31st march 2019 so you can start with the heading of the sum uh, Coimbatore Cricket Club for the year ending 31st March 2019 receipts and payments account. So the heading and the receipts and payments account is ready. The debit side with the receipts and the credit side with the payments. So now let's start over. So first one what they've given there is a bank overdraft that is an opening balance of a bank and it is an overdraft balance so when it's an overdraft balance it's simple we are just going to take it to the payment side if it's a normal balance we're going to write it on the receipt side so go to the credit side that is a payment side and we're going to write down the overdraft bank balance so that is by bank overdraft so when we open up our account with a bank and a cash balance then we are going to find a bank and a cash balance so it's uh, 6000 rupees next we have is cash in hand so this is a normal cash balance so go to the receipt side and record it as a normal cash balance so two balance brought down that is cash and that is thousand rupees the next item is wages paid for ground maintenance this is obviously the normal item so wages paid when you're paying it it goes to the payment side so more to the payment side by wages that is two thousand rupees next one is subscription received so here you must be very careful you're going to take the entire value they've given it to you as a breakup that is previous year current year and subsequent year but we have received 10,500 totally so the total value you're going to take so go to the receipt side since it's a subscription received so two subscription and the value is going to be 10,500 please don't take up the breaking up of that previous year current year values so the next wages yet to be paid so any adjustment in this case of receipts and payments account will not be considered so wages yet to be paid is an outstanding expense so that is an adjustment for us so it won't be taken up next interest on loan paid yes it's a payment so go to the payment side and write by interest on loan so interest on loan is 2000 rupees next we have uh, honorarium on the right hand side of a tablet column honorarium paid so again it's a paid so it's on the payment side you can write honorarium and that's 2800 next we have water and electricity charges and that's rupees 700 next we have match expenses rupees 2600 next is a sports material purchase which is 1900 after the sports material move on to the receipt side because the next item is uh, match fund receipts so two match fund receipts and that is rupees 5200 next also we have a receipt that is two legacies received so two legacies which is 2000 and uh, before writing the cash balance you have donation received for the pavilion so that you can write down two donation received for the pavilion so donation for the pavilion and that is 2000 so on top of this they have given you the cash balance that is the closing cash balance of 300 rupees you have the opening balance here then the closing balance go to the opposite side that is the payment side so payment side you can write by balance carry down cash is rupees 300 so now you can use the inner column if you have so 300 in the inner column i've written out or you can write it out in the outer column so the closing balance of cash is 300 rupees so now what we get is a closing balance of the bank so whichever side it comes you're gonna write it 
So first let's total up the debit side or the receipt side and the payment side. So on the payment side we get a total of 18,300 and on the receipt side we get a total of 20,700. So obviously the receipt side total is more therefore 20,700 is going to be the grand total. Now move to the payment side also and write it as a grand total. Now this side has the least value so the answer for the closing balance of the bank is going to come on the payment side only. So 20,700 minus 18,300 the total of this side is going to be 2,400 which will be your bank balance, your closing bank balance in this receipts and payments account.